Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops 3 In Depth. In today's episode, we are going to be reviewing the 48 Dredge, which is debatably the best and or most popular light machine gun in Black Ops 3, even so much that many people consider it overpowered. So we're mostly going to focus today on what makes this gun good, but we will talk about its weaknesses too. And believe it or not, there are a few weaknesses to the 48 Dredge. Let's start off with the damage, because that's just a good place to start off with. It'll deal 30 damage up close and decrease down to 24 damage at very long ranges which is very low overall damage for an LMG, though it is slightly better damage than that poor old Dingo, which is low damage. But there are some machine guns that do more damage than this. There are assault rifles that do more damage than this, even pistols and secondary weapons. So this isn't very impressive for an LMG. So then what makes the gun so good? We'll get to that in later. But what this means for you is that it will kill between four and five shots or four to five shots. Almost always is it going to be a four shot kill because like the other light machine guns, the four shot kill range is 127 meters although i am going to add a caveat to this it's not very consistent for some reason i don't know why i like it, it mathematically should always kill in four shots unless they're on the other side of the map but i swear to vonderhaar sometimes i put an entire burst into somebody and they just don't die for some reason i'm blaming lag or maybe my poor aim or something but mathematically speaking it should four shot kill out to 127 meters headshot multiplier is 1.1 X, meaning that it's useless at most normal ranges, but after 127 meters, which I can hardly fathom the engagement that you're going to be having at that range, it will be beneficial and get you one less shot to kill. Though generally speaking, I wouldn't recommend going for headshots unless you're doing camos. Now this next stat is what makes the 48 dredge so OP or so good or so popular or so all of those positive things. The burst rate of fire or the rate of fire of the six rounds of your burst, which is a very high number of bursts, like most burst guns are like three or four, but it's a six round burst, is 1,090 rounds per minute, which is extremely fast. This is right up there with the Vesper. This is right up there with the M8A7. This is an extremely fast rate of fire, especially for a light machine gun that has such crazy range. This dumps bullets downstream extremely, extremely fast, and the burst delay is only 166 milliseconds, which is the same as the M8A7. It has less burst delay than the XR2, the exact same as the M8A7. Now, it's not as good as the Pharaoh or the, I almost said the B23R, it's the RK5, but the burst delay is pretty small, and one of the cool things you can do is you can hold down the trigger, and the 48 dredge will fire fully automatically so that you get the minimal amount of burst delay, though for some reason for this weapon I just kind of didn't do that as much, I just kind of prefer to do it manually, but realistically it's going to be better for most of you to hold down the trigger. What this means is that it has an extremely fast time to kill, mathematically one of the fastest killing weapons in the game at any range best light machine gun mathematically probably one of the better assault rifles but for some reason it's not very consistent and I for the life of me I don't understand why sometimes I feel like I just smash somebody with a full burst and they should die and nothing happens sometimes I feel like my bullets are not connecting I don't know why I think many of you may have noticed this as well is that even though it like on paper performs very well in practice it doesn't perform as good but it's still a great weapon don't get me wrong just because it's a little inconsistent doesn't make it a bad weapon magazine size is 60 and extended mags will bump it up to 84 surprisingly you'll burn through your magazine really fast because if you think about it that means you can only pull the trigger 10 times before you have to reload extended mags is not isn't bad but for my money I would probably go with fast mags run either one neither are bad I actually don't really use either that much because it kills in one or two bursts most of the time and I'm gonna say the iron sights are not very good I've seen worse right like yeah I can aim with them yeah they're clear enough to hit people but I just kind to prefer optics on this weapon and I don't like using the iron sights. I think the reason I don't is because the gun does kick upward a lot and the barrel on the iron sights has a tendency to obstruct my view so I do try to avoid that happening. It makes it very difficult to get follow-up shots so I'm almost always going to recommend optics. On this one I tend to like the recon sight because it has surprisingly high recoil. Most burst weapons in most COD games just don't kick very much. This one, probably because it's a six round burst, kicks a lot more than you think it will. Yeah, no, it's just fine for close range. Medium range is nothing, but at long range, it's going to cause you to miss quite a bit. So I really strongly recommend running both the foregrip to decrease your recoil per shot and the recon sight to increase your center speed. Both of these will help your recoil quite a lot, and I think I had the best results running with these two. It was a lot more comfortable at least. So that's that's my recommendation on cutting recoil, though you don't have to take it. The hipfire spread, mathematically speaking, 
tracking is poor. It's the same as the other light machine guns, which is pretty wide, though it can still be spammed effectively. At over a thousand RPM and six round burst, you can dump out a lot of bullets very, very quickly and just kind of spam and kill just because of the rate of fire. So hip firing isn't that bad, and I tell you not to worry about it. Like, if you like going for hip fire, that's just fine. The weapon has the same base movement speed as assault rifles, which is a good thing. And unlike all of the other light machine guns, it doesn't have any goofy ADS multipliers. It doesn't, uh, when you're aimed down sights anyway, it doesn't move any faster, or slower, or odder than it should. It's standard for light machine guns, so nothing strange about that. Aim down sights time is also very normal, 350 milliseconds, which makes it average for the class. It's slow compared to other weapons, but it ADS is, you know, normal for light machine guns. And on this particular weapon, I'm going to end up recommending a stock. I feel that that is very helpful because uh, there's something about this weapon I just kind of want to use it long range more than I should. I kind of like peeking around corners. I even pre-fire a little bit. And for all of those things, being able to sidestep faster is very, very useful to me. So if you have to run an attachment, I think stock is going to be the best one, except maybe the grip or the recon or whatever. And if you don't want quick draw grip, you don't have to have it, but I like it too. Reload time, unfortunately, is the slowest in the light machine gun class at 7.3 seconds. Considering how fast the gun shoots and, you know, 10 trigger pulls, you will be reloading a lot, and it is very slow. That is definitely one of the major weaknesses of this weapon, is the amount of time that you will spend reloading. Fast mags is kind of a cure for that, but I don't always run it. I just tend to prefer to go for more lethality than I do for reloading. And it has a high wall penetration factor. Thank goodness it's the other light machine gun with a high wall penetration factor. And because of how fast it shoots and how many bullets you have, it's very easy to wall bang with. Just spam it through a wall, hose everywhere, and realistically, you'll kill people. As for what I think about this weapon, I think the 48 Dredge is probably the overall best light machine gun in Black Ops 3, and I don't say that lightly. The 48 Dredge is good in a lot of situations. It's strong up close because it sprays, it's strong at medium range because the recoil is good and you can usually one burst people, and it's very forgiving to use for long range. It's very easy. You can follow up with a lot of shots very quickly. It has a good feel. It handles well. Uh, the burst fire isn't that bad, and there's not a real Really a situation where you're at a disadvantage using the 48 dredge it even has a very good time to kill like there's no situation where using the 48 dredge is a bad idea and I feel that's what makes it so strong and the only real weakness to the weapon is that it is ultimately a burst fire weapon yeah it's burst fire you have delay between your shots you have to make them count some people can't handle that some people find that to be awkward some I occasionally do struggle as well and I miss time my burst then I look like a fool but if you can get past the fact that it's burst fire Fire. It's obviously the best LMG in the game. It kills quickly and works well in almost all scenarios. You can even hip fire with it pretty effectively. As for how I think it's best, I am going to recommend both a foregrip and a recon sight to reduce the recoil as much as possible. Those two are going to help a lot. It's going to make it a lot more laser-like. You'll get you'll more often than not hit a whole burst, which is almost always going to kill somebody unless you're shooting through a wall or something like that. And I also recommend the stock so you can peek around corners if you have enough spare attachment slots. A quick draw grip is good, fast mags is good, but those are ultimately more optional than this one. And I also recommend using it with a more aggressive specialist. Any sort of aggressive specialist, any specialist that you feel goes in, works really well. I'm probably going to actually recommend the ripper, just because when people, they like to get up in your face thinking you can't do anything about it, and then you just rip them right open with that ability. Works really well for me. Guys, that is all for this episode of In Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. The previous episode was on the Gorgon LMG and the next episode I gotta keep secret for now. Drifter out.